Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a film camera photo effect in Photoshop. So this will essentially take your photo and give it that film camera look like it was actually taken with a film camera. So the steps in this are just a couple adjustment layers and you can optionally add the light leak and the timestamp if you want, but I think they sell the effect so I'll show you how to do them if you want. So working on our original photo, the first thing we're going to do is add a curves adjustment layer. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, curves. Now here's where we're going to get that soft muted black and some pinkish green colors in the background in the sky. So essentially by raising the shadows in the red, green, blue mode and then creating kind of like a choke point, we can create a muted black color in the photo and then adjust the contrast to your liking. And then also you can head over to the red color channel and you can pull some reds into the shadows by lifting that bottom left corner and adjust the reds in the highlights and shadows to your liking as well. And then in the green points, I like to take the middle bar and pull it up a little bit and that'll put some greens in the midtones. And then for the highlights, we want to take the greens out of them. So the green color channel we're going to pull it down and that's going to give us that nice pink and creamy sky and then you can lift the shadows a bit to get that green film look in the shadows as well. You can also head over to the blue color channel and adjust that if you want. See if it looks good and adjust it to your likings. So that's essentially what you want to do in the curves tool but really spend a lot of time tweaking different points and seeing exactly what color works best for your photo or what color you want to use. Just remember that you're working on the shadows, midtones, and highlights of each color channel. So when you're pulling blues into the shadows or you're pulling green channels out of the highlights, it's, that's what's creating those pink and green hues that you're getting. And once you're happy with your curves adjustment layer and it's given you those vintage and film looking colors that you want. You can even adjust the opacity of it if you feel like it's too strong, but I'll leave mine at 100 because I think I did a good job in the curves layer. Now the next step I'm going to show you how to do is how to add that digital timestamp that really sells the film camera look that some film cameras have. So I'm going to grab my text tool and the font that I'm using for this is called VCR OSD Mono Regular. You can find it on defont.com for free, so I'll link it in the description below. And I'm going to type out a fictional date here. Well, I guess this is the real date for today, but I'll just do 8, 8, and then apostrophe 16. And then I'm going to take this and turn the size way down until it's just real small in the corner, like so. Alternatively, if you took the photo like this, then you could press Command T to open up Free Transform or go to Edit, Free Transform, and then hold Shift, and then you can make your text go vertically and put it on the side there if you like that placement better. But I'll leave mine in the corner, and then what we're going to do to really sell this effect to make it look like it's digital is we're going to go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All. Now, on this layer mask, we're going to use a filter to create some scan lines on this text. So make sure you're working on the layer mask and head over to filter and open up your filter gallery because we want to use the sketch filter and sometimes that doesn't show up right away. Now under the sketch menu, we're going to select halftone pattern and for the pattern type, select line. Now adjust the size so that you create some decent looking scan lines with a bit of contrast. So I'll do two in my case and a contrast of 18. That looks fine with me. Now once I press OK, what's going to happen is that everything that's black here is going to hide the text and everything that's white is going to show the text. So as you can see, we've created some scan lines on the text and that really makes it look digital and sells the effect. Now I'm going to unlock this link between the two layers so that I can move the layer mask without moving the text and I'm even going to go to Command T to free transform it and scale it down a little bit so that it's not so chunky. And if you want to fade that scan line a little bit so it's not so harsh, you can just work on the layer mask and go to Image, Adjustments, Levels 
and then turn the black slider up a little bit. I'll press OK once I'm happy with that. And you could leave it right at this. You could have actually stopped right after the curves layer, but I'll show you guys how to create a light leak if you want to create a fictional light leak. So go back to your original layer and then go to layer, new fill layer, gradient. Now in this gradient, you want to select that second color to transparent default gradient. It should pop up right away and then double click on it to adjust the gradient. If you don't see these presets, just click the cog wheel and reset your gradients. Now we're going to create a white color next to this one. So we'll do white, then we'll click to add a third color in the middle and that'll be an orangish, goldish yellow. And then we'll click on that original black one and we'll turn it into a bright red. So I'll press OK once I'm happy with that. And then in this menu here, we can do a few things. We can move our gradient around. So you want it just so that that whitish gold red is peeking through. We can adjust the angle of it to whatever direction of the photo we want. So let's say I want it coming out of the left side here. And then the scale is how smushed together or stretched out you want it. So the further it is, the more soft of a light leak and the closer in, the more intense of a light leak it gets. So I'll do just 100% scale for now. And what you want to do with this layer is don't leave it like this. You want to set this layer to screen. And what that will do is it'll only take over the shadows and the dark portions of your image. So once you have your light leak set up how you want it, you can also adjust the opacity of that if you feel like it was too strong. And you can adjust the placement however you like. But that's essentially how to create your film look in Photoshop. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely leave a like if you did. Leave a comment below if you had any questions or comments. I'll try to help you out. And definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.